Right, I'm going to show you how I trim to use hooves. Got this older U here. She didn't uh, get trimmed before she made it in the lambing. It's just got missed. Sometimes it happens. So her hooves are starting to click now. This is definitely a in good indication of they need to be done. So we'll get her flipped, trim the four hooves up, and I'll show you the tool I use. It's a pair of Japanese rose pruners called Sobaten uh, 12. There they are right here. I believe it's 1210. I don't have my glasses on. Been using these for a long time. They're really sharp. You can get these on Amazon, Mid-State Wool Growers, I believe NASCO. There's a few of the other sheep supplies in the United States that sell these. And uh, these are the genuine deal here. Don't buy the Chinese knockoffs. There's some of them out there. The Chinese have uh, knocked them off, but you want the, you want the uh, Japanese ones. They stay sharp a really long time, high quality steel. And uh, after you get done trimming hooves, you can go trim your bushes. But uh, let's get started. I don't know what the dogs are barking at. All right, I got to help her. She's coming in, checked it out, checking things out. We got our U turned over and she's ready. So on these white face sheep, these hooves can be pretty hard. And I'm gonna try to bring the camera in closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. Get her in this relaxed position and she won't give you much trouble. Even when it's the same position as when you're gonna shear. These old white hooves can be pretty hard I have broke these uh, broke these trimmers doing these old hooves on white face sheep. This is a Dorset U, in case you're wondering. They just go right through. Um, these fit in the hand better than those big hoof rot shears. Trim that toe off, get this curl. Sometimes you can trim the inside out too, right there. You can see this junk in here. Just trim it out. Move on to the next one. You can see right here, there's quite a bit of toe difference already trimmed up. Now when these, you trim these toes, they're pretty sharp. So be careful, not they don't kick you and cut you. Sometimes these points can be pretty pointy sharp.
that one's done on the front move to the back too These make great dog treats. This one's a little harder to get into this curl. This is where some foot skulls can really start developing some uh, hoof rot after that. <laughs> She's good to go. Got a lot of hoof here to trim out. Now, yeah, right there is real sharp. Now, it's real pink right here. That's where I got close to the yeah. So if I went any further than that, she'd bleed pretty good. Stretch my back. I'm a pretty tall guy. I don't bend over much on these animals anymore. So, bothers my back. When I was younger, no big deal. <clears throat> also, my back's not so used to it anymore either. Pants are falling down. I didn't wear a belt today. <laughs> All right, so here we are finishing off the last of the hoof. Looks good. She's nice and dry. There's no moisture in here, no stench. You know, it got some foot rot starting when it stinks. I got a little close right there. She might bleed a little. Yep, she's going to. And it's not too bad. So. If you can see that. Thanks for watching, and uh, my participants out of here. You guys have a good one. <laughs>